Can you speak about some other ways in which you think the outcomes might sort of vary across classes, socioeconomic classes? M many kids are being homeschooled or, you know, online schooled with um, help from the home. Many poor kids don't even have really good internet access. So they really can't get online learning in the same way. Right. Plus they, they may be living in very crowded households with multiple generations that it's not just easy for them to sit in a quiet place and focus on what the teacher is trying to have them do online. Right. And their parents may have many other responsibilities and can't just sit with them and help them understand what's going on with their online learning, even if they have internet access. So I think one, um, one area that many of us, especially in pediatrics are concerned, is that the academic differences that poor children have compared to middle class and upper middle class children uh, will be exacerbated by this pandemic because they're gonna now list, miss a large chunk of the school year. In addition um, to their usual, you know, we know that children, poor children, every summer lose some of their skills. This is sort of a well-known summer loss of about three months of their reading and math levels. Again, because unlike upper middle class kids, who have all sorts of enriching experiences, they don't. That to some degree may happen to um, middle-class kids as well. <laughs> but I think mostly they're in a better position regarding where they are in their academics. And then often, even though they may not be learning math, they're having various experiences where they're using math or they're, or they're given reading you know, at the, in their camp. So they're reading all these books. Whereas poor kids aren't necessarily giving reading lists to read over the summer, uh, and nobody's buying those books for them necessarily or helping them go through them. Right. Oh, so things like reading and, and using math may fall by the wayside over the summer. But now this is endless summer.